Hello everybody and welcome to Football Manager 2022 and the beta is now live for us all to enjoy and I'm going to be doing a Tottenham Hotspur save um, for the meantime that the beta is going on. I'm maybe a little bit longer to see how we get on. If you're new to this channel, my name is Pokes and welcome in. You're so very welcome. If you do start enjoying this video, then do hit that thumb up button and like it. And of course, you can subscribe to this channel and stay along with the journey. This is one season with Spurs. So we're going to be seeing how high we can take them in the league, as well as seeing how well we can do in the cups that we're involved in as well. And generally just seeing what the game is like. Now, not only will I be putting some videos out here on YouTube um, of this save but also I stream every week on Wednesdays and Thursdays over on Twitch top TV forward slash pokes FM so do make sure you join me over there but let's stop blabbering and let's get on with the save and so, yes, this is my first play of Football Manager 2022. As I go through these screens today, you are going to see them for the first time in the same way that I am seeing them for the first time. I, I, I am new to this game. I haven't like played a load of the save and then come back to these screens. This is all the first time of viewing it for me. We're going to be figuring out how it goes. We're going to play a little bit right now, and then we will jump into it on Twitch as well a little bit later. But here we are. We confirmed as the appointment of Ben Pocock. Yes, that's my name. Wonderful stuff, isn't it? Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 36-year-old. It's a bit... Clearly not 36. That's a lie. I'm not. I'm actually older. I'm older. I should stop talking about it. Who has recently spent time away from club football and he's sure to face plenty of questions as he faces the media for the first time at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Got three-year deal, £61,000 a week. It's not so bad, is it? Now, I am a Tottenham fan and it's been a long time since I've managed Tottenham on Football Manager, any of the additions. And so I'm sort of looking forward to it, actually, a little bit. Usually I take low league sides and uh, I've been playing them for many years. You can have a look at my previous videos as well as check me out over on Twitch. Usually I do low league clubs. So to take a Premier League club is a bit different for me and I'm not probably used to the finances. So we're going to see how we get on today as we progress through this save. So on behalf of everyone at Tottenham, here we are. Um, I'd like to formally welcome you to the club thank you daniel i don't really like him i don't really like him at all familiarize yourself with the club blah 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 and there we go facility sixty-two thousand capacity stadium and tottenham hotspur stadium have you seen it's got those pint glasses that fill up from the bottom what more can you want from a stadium we've got a transfer budget of 15 million wage budget of 2.3 million we are rich apparently and let's see how we get on okay so this is a suggested sort of formation here with the sort of three at the back and we've got two wing backs there we've got Emerson Royal the new sort of signing this year same as regularly on and we've got Sanchez Dyer and Romero and Don Bele Hoiberg Lucas Moore on the right Son on the left and Kane up front you know what I'm actually really up for using this uh, formation because it then means we can use the two new uh, well the one new role which is the uh, the wide centre back and we could try them out maybe see if these if any of these sort of uh, Tottenham defenders can sort of handle that kind of a role be interesting to see but I think I'll probably go with this. If we can keep Kane, I probably will try and keep Kane. Um, but I do feel that there needs some strengthening. I'm really not fussed particularly um, by these defenders that they've brought in over the preseason, if I'm completely honest. Uh, uh, Romero, okay, but I'm not really fussed by Emerson Royal. But maybe if we got a couple of new wing backs, I'd probably be reasonably happy there. But, well, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Obviously, Romero's only on loan with us anyway. And Gallini, that's the new keeper, but he won't be playing ahead of Lurie, Lloris. Uh, so we'll We'll, we'll see how that all goes. We've got a lot of players on loan here. Yeah, we've got well, a lot of players on loan, two different places. Troy Parrott is a, one of the youngsters who seems to be coming through the ranks and he seems to be all right. And here we go. Here's the club's vision for the future. They want us to play attacking football, sign players under the age of 20, 20, uh, under the age of 22 for the future. They want us to play possession football. Happy with that. Yeah, fine. Develop players using the club's youth system. Do not sign players over the age of 30. That's fine. And play entertaining football. I'm all about the entertainment. Okay, and in terms of accolades and where they want us to reach, they want us to qualify for the European Champions League. They want us to get FA Cup quarter final. They want us to reach a final of the Euro Cup 2. They want us to get the Carabao Cup they do not care about. And that's probably the one going to be the one that I do all right in. And we could look ahead to the other other seasons, and I will just take a glance in case you're interested to manage Tottenham yourself in the future. Uh, they want us to actually challenge for the title next season. Uh, they want to work with, be, towards becoming self-sustainable, uh, want to win the Premier League, basically. That's what they want. Simple as that. 
Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to meet the media, we're going to arrange an intro squad friendly to assess the squad where possible, and we're going to arrange, arrange a meeting with the backroom staff. That is one of the new features on this season uh, of Football Manager, is that actually you can have regular meetings as often as you want with your backroom staff, which I think is actually quite handy to have that all in one place. So hopefully that'll be reasonably straightforward for me. Right, let's save up and let's get into this then. So we are hired, eyebrows are raised... I don't blame them, to be honest. Let's little, have a little look at the the uh, contracts here in terms of who's going to be going out at the end of the season. You've got here uh, Hugo as uh, he's got well, he's got twelve months on his on his contract, which isn't bad. All these players do really. Alfie Whiteman, we got a load of youngsters there who've also sort of near the end of their near the end of their seasons there, near the end of their contracts. That's not so bad. Let's jump into uh, tactics now. Let's sort of have a begin to explore what we're going to do for our tactic. Let's create a new tactic. I feel like we don't really need to see all this, uh, all, all, all these, um, you know, the tutorials. It just feels a bit unnecessary, really. You should begin, by, what do I, oh, for goodness sake, are they just getting us to click it? Okay, what sort of style do we think we're going to do? I think control possession. I think I want us to hold the ball a lot. They want us to play possession football. So I'm interested to do that and go, go with that sort of style, actually. So I think that's what we'll do. And then in terms of the sort of setup, I think we will go for what they recommended, which is this sort of, you know, three at the back, two wing backs, uh, two central defend, two central midfielders, two wide players, and then one up top. I think that's really what we'll go for. I'm happy with that. OK, so this is what they've come up with uh, immediately for me without thinking anything about it. We've got Kane on this sort of deep lying forward role, which it does make sense, really, doesn't it? He, he's been playing deep a lot recent in recent times. Um, and inside winger, I think we'll put Son on attack on that wing side winger. And I think we'll do the same with Lucas Moore on the right there. We, we, we will fiddle around with who's going to be in the starting eleven, But this kind of mentality will go shorter passing. I think we'll go a standard tempo rather than a uh, low tempo. In fact, we're going to go higher tempo. We're going to play it reasonably high um and then i think what we'll do is we'll probably focus the play down the left i think with sonny down the left there um in transition we'll be counter pressing when we've won possession i think we will be counter counter uh actually no we won't we're going to hold we're going to be holding our shape um uh, distribute quickly i think i just i want reasonably quick although we're going to be controlling possession and it could seem like it's a slow game i actually i want to push uh, and make it a little bit faster and reasonably sort of fast paced. So we'll go trigger press, which is the new thing here you see. That isn't sort of, it's, it's a slightly different because of what I'm understanding about what uh, SI have been saying about the new features is that trigger press is talking about that's how often they are starting to press the team. And stamina is a bit of more of an issue this season in that uh, if teams who don't have great fitness, don't have great stamina, they're not going to be able to press as effectively, but it's more about how often they're triggering um, the pressing. So a, there is a slight difference. I'm guessing we're going to have to learn a little bit about this season. But let's take a little look at the squad now. Oh, they're going to give me an intro. Let me get through the induction of this little squad induction and I'll come back to you in a minute. OK, I'm playing this without putting all my views in. And you know when you start a new game and you're like, what does this look like? I'm still getting used to this. But here we go. We've got Hugo Lloris. We've got Galini, who's the new sort of guy who brought in on from loan this year. We've got Romero also on loan for us, who probably will be a regular starter for us. Um, Jaffa Tanganga in real life has had a really great start to the season. So I'll be interested to see if that kind of translates to football manager. Uh, he's been, I think he's been pretty effective so far this season for us. Uh, Sanchez, Emerson Royal, as I said, I'm not too fussed by this guy so far but we'll see um let me just look at his little stats like his stats look all right like not brilliant but they'll they'll do won't they and for 22 years old not so bad but anyway then we'll move on we've got a we've got matt dotty eric dyer again just not that fast by eric dyer i, don't, I know some people love him some people don't I, I i'm not that fussed but he has got some good mentals there His bravery aggression determination's high so maybe maybe we'll use him we'll see um ben davis sessignon uh then we've got sergio we've got pierre hoiberg um i really like hoiberg i don't think we've seen the best of hoiberg in real life i think we've got he's more, more to come but i like him very much um so we'll probably play him harry winks i'd love to see him coming into the into his own a little bit more this season. I'll be interested to see how that plays out. 
And who else have we got? Oliver Skip um, and Don Bele. Uh, yeah, and Don Bele. I'm pretty sure we'll be playing with Don Bele. Technique 16 there is dribbling 16, determination 16, strength as well. I think we, I think that sort of playmaker role is what hit, will suit him really well in the centre there. So that'll be really fun to see. Uh, La Celso, obviously. Then we've got Lucas Mora. Let's see what Mora's looking like. Dribbling of 16 for Mora. Uh, natural fitness is high. Stamina is high. You see, that is where possibly, although SI have been saying that the kind of Gagan pressing tactic isn't going to be affected this season when you've got a decent side like Spurs you know what I mean when you've got like a you know I reckon top 10 probably at least in, in, in England maybe they'll still be able to do it we'll find out we'll find out all these things as well as that, you've got Deli Ali there. I, I think he's beginning to lose his way a little bit in real life. We'll see if that transfers um, onto uh, onto FM as well. But, you know, we'll probably give him an opportunity. And then, of course, um, up top, we've got Brian Gill, um, who's featured a little bit. Not, not hugely yet, but I think he might come into his own later on in the season as he settles into the club. Still quite new to the club still. Uh, and then, obviously, we've got uh, uh, Sun there, finishing 18. Absolute ledge. We're going to definitely be playing him on the left Um uh, pretty much every game if we can and we've still got Harry dearest Harry he's still with us uh, hopefully won't, we won't lose him um, and that's about it if, as I'm looking at this squad and beginning to think what where I might need some support I think possibly um, possibly centre-backs um to, um, you know, as I've, I think we could probably do with one or two world class centre backs to really shake up the defence a little bit more. Uh, maybe, I don't know how good Gallini is, but Lloris, I think, is, is a quality player and he obviously is a great captain. But that could be worth exploring. But we'll really have to see how we go with the uh, with that. But I think what we'll do for now is we will we will call it there. This the plan for this save is really to to do one season with Spurs. Now I've got a couple of ideas in my brain. Either I do it in real time, so I catch up to where we are at in real life, and then for the rest of the season in real life and on FM, I play one week at a time and one game at a time like that. Or if we really enjoy this and I get through it a lot quicker, maybe we'll do one season with Spurs and then maybe we'll do another season with somebody else and we might do it that way. But if you enjoy this content and you're really looking forward to this save, do leave a comment. Let me know what you would do with this squad. Who would you be getting rid of? Who would you be bringing in? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And then also similarly, um, yeah, if you've got any ideas in terms of how you think I should be doing this save, then do obviously let me know in the comments. Would love to know. And actually, if you've got an FM22 beta save what are you doing let me let me know what you're doing in the in the comments as well but if you like this stuff hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can be notified every time i upload a video but thanks for joining me today i'm so excited by this and, and i hope you're excited too whether you've got the game or not and uh, i'll see you next time see you later